you guys so today i'm going to be making a potato corn soup it would more than likely be closer to a chowder now it is the summertime but um i like soup still during the summertime because it's quick easy and affordable so the ingredients we have garlic powder onion powder italian seasoning pepper and salt some flour i'm going to use one chicken bouillon okay we have some corn more than likely i'll use a cup maybe a cup and a half I have four red potatoes. You can use any type of potatoes that you like. I have some garlic, probably use about one tablespoon of garlic. Um, the rest of this onion, this is 75% of the onion, two sticks of celery, three sticks of carrots, and we're gonna use about half a cup of half and half. So I'm looking at it, eyeballing it, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my corn, see if I need to add any more liquid. Um, I don't wanna add too much liquid because I don't want it to be soupy. And of course the flour will thicken the soup up. If I feel I need it a little bit thicker, once the potatoes are almost done, I can literally use my ladle here, the spoon, and smash up some potatoes on the side and the starchiness from the potatoes will help thicken up the soup. I'm gonna go ahead and add my corn. I am gonna do one and a half cups of corn. All right, that's my corn, one and a half cups, almost two cups to be quite honest. Um, let me go ahead and add my seasonings. I have my onion powder, my garlic powder, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and of course some black pepper now. I'm going to reserve adding any sodium um, till it's nearly done, y'all. I, I really am trying to watch. Well, it's pink salt. I cook mostly with pink salt. Um, but I'm gonna wait to add it. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna need some more liquid. So um, let me go ahead and add a little bit more chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is bring this up on a high. And if you could tell I left some skin on on some pieces, that's okay. I'm going to bring this up on high, reduce it on a low, let it simmer until the potatoes are done. And then I'm going to pour in a little bit of the half and half and it will be done. This is a great soup that you can um, add different types of vegetables. If you wanted to add peas, you could do so. You can definitely make this vegan. Um, it's a great soup that you can also freeze and this will last us for lunch for the rest of the week. It is only Wednesday. So let me go ahead, turn this all the way up on high and then I'm gonna put a lid on and bring it down to a simmering boil.